Definitions and key terms. Statistics is a body of mathematical techniques or processes for gathering, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting numerical data. They are basic tools of measurement, evaluation, and research. The following definitions and key terms are part of the basic language of quantitative methods and statistical procedures. Case, subject, or observation. Case, subject, or observation is a person, place, or thing which is the object of the research. In educational research, it frequently involves students, teachers, classes, schools, parents, or administrators. Variable or data element. A variable or data element is an item of data which is collected for each case in the study and which can vary or have more than one value. Common variables collected in educational research are gender, ethnicity, year of birth, and test scores. Variables can be described as continuous or categorical depending upon how many values they can contain. A continuous variable can contain a wide range of values such as with family income or test score. A categorical, also referred to as a discrete variable, contains a limited number of values such as in a gender or ethnicity code. Value, record, and file. A value is each individual piece of information such as a code, a score, a response to a question for each variable in a study. For example, frequent values for the variable gender are F or M, also coded as 1 or 2, which represent female and male respectively. A record or data record is a collection of variables or data elements. A file or data file is a collection of data records. Scales of measurement. Scales of measurement are the assignment of numbers to data to help categorize, organize, and interpret them. There are four types of measurement scales. First, nominal scale, where numbers represent categories or classifications such as gender codes, ethnicity codes. Second, ordinal scale. Numbers represent rank order, such as a ranking of students first, second, third in a class by grade point average. Third, interval scale. Similar to ordinal scale, and in addition, numbers represent equal intervals between each number, such as most standardized test scores. And ratio scale, which is similar to interval scales, and in addition has an absolute zero, so that numbers can be compared by ratios such as one number being two times or three times larger than another number. Example, the Celsius thermometer scale which goes from zero to 100 degrees. Statistical significance. Statistical significance is an indication of the probability of a finding having occurred by chance. It has nothing to do with importance but is simply an indication of probability. Social science researchers have adopted a general standard referred to as the .05 level of statistical significance, meaning that a finding has a 5% chance of not being true, or conversely a 95% chance of being true. Statistical significance is used in many procedures including correlation, t-test, and analysis of variance. Two-tailed versus one-tailed test of significance. Two-tailed and one-tailed tests are, probab are probability procedures used in testing hypotheses. The term tailed refers to the outer fringes or tails of the normal distribution curve. A two-tailed test assumes that the hypothesis is non-directional. An example of a non-directional hypothesis is there is no difference in computer literacy between newly hired and experienced teachers. A one-tailed test assumes that the hypothesis is directional. An example of a directional hypothesis is newly hired teachers are more computer literate than experienced teachers. Once a hypothesis is stated in such a way that one group is assumed to be greater, lesser, higher, etc., it is considered a directional hypothesis. Of the two types of test, a two-tailed test is more commonly used. Standard error. A statistical inference that assumes that the true measure, such as the mean, correlation, or difference of means, lies within a stipulated range above and below the actual value calculated for the measure. For example, the standard error for a mean of 88.5 may be 1.4 plus or minus from the mean. A researcher can then state with a great deal of confidence that the true mean for the population is between 87.1 and 89.9. 
the low end 87.1 and high end 89.9 of the standard error from the mean are referred to as the confidence limits and the range between the low and high is referred to as the confidence interval. A general rule is that the smaller the standard error the more reliable is the calculated value. Degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom is a mathematical concept which indicates the number of observations or values in a distribution that are independent of each other or are free to vary. They are used with various measures to refine the results of treatments of probability or chance. For example, in a distribution of three numbers which can vary but the sum of which has to equal 100, although three separate numbers can be selected, in reality only two numbers need to be selected because the, thir the third number would be determined by the first two numbers. More precisely, if 30 and 50 are selected, the third number has to be 20. The numbers 30 and 50 are independent, but 20 is dependent on the first two numbers. In this example, there are two independent values or two degrees of freedom. Types of data. In the application of statistical treatments, two types of data are recognized. Parametric data are data which are measured and which are assumed to be normally or near normally distributed. Examples include most standardized tests such as IQ tests, SATs, and GREs. Non-parametric data are data which are distribution-free and which are generally counted or ranked. Examples include demographic data such as gender or ethnicity codes and categorized data such as pass-fail and responses such as yes-no. Types of analysis. In the application of statistical treatments, two types of analysis are recognized. Descriptive analysis limits generalizations or conclusions based on statistical analysis to the particular group of individuals or cases observed. No attempt is made to extend these generalizations or conclusions beyond the observed group. Inferential analysis draws conclusions about a larger population based on a smaller sample which is assumed to be representative of the larger population from which it is drawn. An important aspect of inferential analysis is establishing that the smaller sample population is representative of the larger population.